It takes hundreds of dancers, thousands of hours, years of dedication, and something more. It takes a community, a community of dancers here on stage to get this done. That community is created by the Princeton Ballet School, where 1,500 students, age five to adult, take classes and dance in productions such as Sleeping Beauty. The school's director, Mary Pat Robertson, believes dance is a birthright. We want everybody to understand that they can dance just as they can sing, just as they can play roles. Through 30 years of teaching, she's noticed changes in incoming students. Children are much less flexible than they used to be, physically flexible, so we have to spend a lot more time working on stretches. People need to move. That need for free movement spawned a partnership with New Brunswick's elementary schools 25 years ago called Dance Power. It's how Spencer and Sal got started. The hardest part about dance is overcoming your fear of performing. And then once you start, you can't stop. I'm feeling greatness. I'm feeling nice power. I feel really confident and strong. High school senior Shayla Jones received a merit scholarship to the Princeton Ballet School after graduating from Dance Power. She says turns are hardest. So the music is fast, it's like really fast. And all the hours of technical training. Well, I love it, so I enjoy every minute of it. That's what makes you stronger. Some ballet school students, like Shayla, are heading toward professional careers. But for hundreds of others, the flexibility, strength, and joy of dance will last a lifetime. In America, we start with everybody who loves it. We have all these people who love the art and whose life has been immeasurably enriched by it. For New Jersey Arts News, this is Susan Haig.